Hello, number file. This is a video response to Grandi's series. <coughs> Grandi's series is 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 into infinity. Okay. Now, from Grandi's, what Grandi was trying to prove with his series was that a plus and a minus is relative to the person that it applies to, or to the thing that it applies to. Meaning that a plus is not always an addition, and a minus is not always a subtraction. That from some people's point of view, the plus can be a, a loss, and to another person's point of view, or another thing's point of view, the minus can be a gain. So with his series, 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1, when you break it down, you wind up with the answer being the total number, or I should take a step back, the, when you break down his series, 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1, you have 1. The first 1 is a pregnant woman. A pregnant woman. That's what you mean. The first 1 is a woman who is pregnant with child. So when you, from her point of view, the minus... 1, meaning her minus her fetus, equals 2 people. So then in this, uh, this equation right here, 1 minus 1 equals 2. From the woman's point of view, the pregnant woman's point of view, you would say her point of view minus her fetus equals 2 people. 1 minus 1 equals 2, the first part of his series. 1 minus 1. He wanted to prove that the minus could also be a plus. Then he takes the next step to a plus. He wanted to prove that the plus could not always mean an addition, that sometimes it could stay static, or mean a subtraction. So now, plus 1. Back to the pregnant woman. Or to the two people combined. We'll say with the pregnant woman. This equals the woman and her child, and this is just the woman. So now, plus one fetus, all of these are, you know, children, plus one fetus to the pregnant woman still is one woman. You're not gaining anything by adding one to this one. So you add one fetus to the woman, and she just becomes a pregnant woman. She's still one person. So now, in this case, two plus one equals two. And it's totally valid. Two people, two people plus one fetus into the first, you know, into one of the two people, the, the adult, the woman, equals still two people from Grandi's point of view. This is the example that he was using. Then you would then say, then you would go again, the next step, minus one. Minus one fetus from those two people equals three people. Because the, the minus would be the minus, the woman's unborn child. She gives birth, and now you have three people. So now the minus is three, and then so on. So for Grandi's series, what he was trying to show is that a plus and a mi minus and a plus is not always a minus and a plus. That depending on what each number is, what each number represents, it changes what the function does, or what the function actually means. So, Grandi series is 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. The answer to it is the total number of children plus 1, the pregnant woman, the, the mother. That's the answer to Grandi series. It goes on into infinity, or any number that you want it to be. Okay, it can be, it can go on into infinity, or you can go on to say that she has a uh, hundred children, ten children, fifteen, one, two children. So one minus one plus one plus one is the total number of children plus the mother. Thank you for watching.